This is Tim from CPU Cores with a quick demonstration video of the impact of CPU Cores on the Left 4 Dead 2 game. We're going to be using Fraps to record the FPS uh, statistics. We have a little folder here on our desktop. We can just click view and there's nothing in there. And we are going to be doing the exact same thing in Left 4 Dead 2 with and without CPU Cores. So let's get to it. We're going to play the game and escape out of all these little menus here. I'm going to move the Left 4 Dead 2 into the video recording area a little bit better. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a single player campaign, the exact same thing, and we're only going to start the actual, we're only going to start the actual video recording uh, when the helicopter scene drops us off. So when the helicopter scene drops us off, we're going to start the FPS video or the FPS recording, and then when we empty our magazine, we're going to stop it. And we're going to do those uh, same scenario twice. So we're going to start it off here, and we're going to wait for the helicopter to, uh, um, after the load screen, the helicopter is going to kind of drop us off, and that level is going to start. Should be any moment here. All right, so we just started the Fraps FPS benchmarking. Alright, so we're going to go down the stairs and we're going to empty a magazine and then we're going to end the FPS benchmarking. Looks like I missed everything. Alright, so we can end it here. Exit to main menu, okay. Um, quit. Uh, okay. And again, if we open up Fraps here and do view and the folder here, and this is the same as this. Um, open up the log here, and we're going to see that Fraps just normally um, recorded 107 FPS average, uh, about 80 min and 150 max, and this is just running um, Left 4 Dead 2 just all by itself. And now we're going to run it with CPU cores. So let's go to software, uh, launch CPU cores. We have to click the, there's a little pop-up that says click yes to continue. And here's the CPU core software. We're going to minimize this. We're going to just search for left. And here's Left 4 Dead 2. Now we are going to disable hyperthreading. We are going to keep this uh, disabled, which means the game is going to run on our main core that's isolated just for this game, as well as be able to use the core that's isolated just for the operating system stuff only. And that's what this is right here. So by default, um, all of the Windows things, all of my background, web browsers, any antivirus scan, any stuff I have going on is going to be isolated to the first core of my CPU. Here's my CPU thing here. And then everything else, this core right here is going to be open just for the game. Um, and then the game is also going to be able to leak on over into the first core. But it's going to have at least one dedicated CPU processor just for the game. And we are going to minimize the fraps and we're going to start this game here. So here's all the Steam menus. We're going to move this over. All right, and we're going to do the exact same test. We're going to do the single player. We're going to start it. And when we start it, we're not going to start the FPS counter, um, the FPS benchmark, until the helicopter scene starts. So that way, we're not recording any of the menuing and stuff like that. Exact same thing we did without the CPU core software. So just waiting for the helicopter scene to start here. All right, so the FPS uh, counter goes away a few seconds after you, uh, or a moment after you uh, start the FPS benchmark. We're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna run down the stairs, um, unload a magazine, and then we're going to, uh, we're going to uh, end the benchmark. So, I actually hit something for a change. All right, so we just ended the benchmark. We are going to exit, and then exit, and then quit. And then we'll go back to Fraps here, view the folder, and now we have another entry here, um, Fraps log. So we can see here we went from we went from normal was 107 FPS um, with CPU cores, it was 123 FPS. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. So the change was plus. Um, this is where I'm going to fail at math. 16 FPS. FPS. 
So the overall difference is, let me get my little calculator out here. The overall difference, let's see here. So we have a difference of, um, we have 107 divided by 123. So about, that's about 87%. So we got about a 13% increase in FPS. Now the uh, specific increase and the specific change is going to vary. Uh, it varies um, based on your uh, CPU and uh, the game itself. So here we are with uh, Left 4 Dead 2 um, on this test with a dual core processor. I have a NVIDIA GTX 960 and the increase we've seen here is a 13% increase. And thanks for watching and happy gaming.